Ezron Chetty defies categorization, and so does his music. The term New Age hardly does justice to an instrumental approach inspired by greats, ranging from Jimi Hendrix to Stefan Grappelli. Anyone in the creative industry will tell you, we all have a unique way of tapping into that artistic energy. For Hezron, a good cup of tea does the trick. Hezron. Michelle, how are you? Good to meet you. Likewise. How's the process going? I know this is part of getting that creative juices flowing. Yes, it is. Very important to start the day off. Well, what are you having? I'm having an African delight, which has honey bush, eucalyptus, and lemongrass, and it's basically for energy. Hezron, you have such a fascinating story about how you discovered the violin. Tell me more about that. In 1994, my dad um, had me learning the harmonium before that, which was an Indian classical instrument. So I learned the harmonium from the age of four. I was about nine years old, and I had seen a kid at a school play playing the violin um, on that afternoon. And it was so strange after, you know, how our families get together and basically have these massive lunches. My dad asked me, what instrument would you like to learn on the Sunday? And I told him I'd seen this kid in the play on Friday playing the violin. And that Monday was when he sent me for my first lesson. It's not often that going into the creative arts means you have the support of your parents, but you did. What did that support mean to you? It means a lot um, as any individual that pursues a career in music full time. I think that family uh, plays a big role. Like I wasn't studying law, accounting, I wasn't going into medicine, I was doing music and they supported me from the start. How would you best describe your creative process? Look, I love people and uh, I find a lot of people say that I love people but they don't actually get to know people. So I'll get into a taxi, a normal taxi on, on a Monday and I'll travel around Cape Town. But I've done this in all the cities and just to be in that cultural diversity with people, but seeing it firsthand, um, I really thrive off that. How would you describe a typical day in the life of Hezron Chetty? Look, I have certain luxuries. Um, I have my coffee, I have my teas, I have, I meet fantastic people in the morning. Sometimes an artist will phone me up and be like, look, I got this really good idea of I want to draw you now, so can you rock up to my place in the morning and uh, we'll do this. But morning to that creative person is four o'clock in the morning, you know what I mean, the starts. Um, or you get some musician who's like, I've just got this amazing lick that I want you to put down, who will phone me up and be like, can you rock up? But to a musician, he starts off the days 2 p.m. in the afternoon, so it's kind of the difference between the two. So I never know what my morning is going to be like. Um, but I try to enjoy it as much as possible and use that creative aspect and the spontaneity of it to help my day out. I know you're busy on your latest album. Can I get a sneak peek? Yeah, of course you can. Let's go. Hezron moved to London a few years ago where he worked on a variety of television, radio and drama projects as well as touring and recording. During this time, he established a reputation not only for his musicianship, but also for his use of technology to open new avenues of musical expression. Hello, wow, look at the space. Oh, gents, bravo, thank you so much, that was superb. But now I'm really fascinated and intrigued by what you were doing with your foot over here. This is a loop station. Basically, I can create orchestral arrangements, like a viola, a cello, a double bass, but then I get to layer my melodic violin lines on top of that. So at times it sounds like there's a full string orchestra going on behind me, but it's just all done through this loop station, and that's the fascinating part. I'm able to create that with just the instrument that I use. All right, and how does it work? Basically, I record, That's my first layer, my bass layer. And I can just keep on adding on top of it. That's multitasking. Yeah, it is multitasking <laughs> at its finest. 23 years of playing the violin, I think I should be able to multitask now. <laughs> well, I'd like to see if I can multitask. Would yeah, you yeah, show me? Of course I will. All right, so basically you're gonna hold that. So, like uh, a guitar? Yeah, yeah, like a guitar. And I want you to pluck that for me and I'll show you. We're going to lay a, ba uh, a bass line down sure. for now. <laughs> Keep it going. Yeah. 
Having returned to Cape Town, Hezron has shared events with local names David Cromer, Roger Lucy and A-King. And having heard him perform live, his fans eagerly awaited the release of his studio album, The Fallacy of Composition. Hezron, how would you describe the feeling when you're on stage with a captive audience? What do you feel? It's magic. You've just got all these people that have never seen this before and they watch it and they just really love it. I mean, we play festivals in Johannesburg, Cape Town, Durban. The energy is just there. Once they see a violin through a loop station, their energy feeds me and it's just this absolutely amazing vibe while we are we jamming. What have been some of the highlights and achievements thus far? Being on the bull with Raekwon from the Wu-Tang Clan because they're one of my favorites and uh, he was sharing the same bull as myself. And it was just awesome to, to you know, meet this guy, this absolutely, this cult hero of mine. Um, but I've also just been invited by Arno Costens to join his band for a show. So that's also another highlight. This legend that I grew up to, listening to, has asked me to play the violin for him. So I'm very excited about that. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? The next couple of years I see an established independent record label helping out independent artists in the country and around the world. Uh, there's a big movement towards what the independent musician can do and we want to facilitate that with our music consultancy, which is Mad Vineless Productions, um, as helping other musicians and teaching them what I've learned and just, you know, opening up the community and sharing the network more. What advice would you have to those considering a career in the arts? Just never give up. Stick to what you believe in and the whole 10,000 hours you become professional after that or you're really good at what that that is true but I believe stay true to yourself and keep on practicing or keep on just following it through your art and your skill and it will blossom at the end of the day. Hezran, it's been such a privilege. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Michelle. Having spent the day with Hezron, it's clear to see his passion for his profession. Soon the world will be mesmerized by the sounds of his latest album.